Ganyu, one of the best DPS slash support slash top tier waifu you could get in the game. She's so great that once in a great Archon War, she choked a monster to death because her waistline was too huge for it to swallow. No, I'm not joking, that actually happened, read her story. <laughs> anyway, hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about how to build Ganyu. Since one of you guys requested a Ganyu build, I'm so sorry, like, this is a very late, I was very late. I was kind of busy with school and stuff. Basically, I'm just going to make this quick and easy. Okay, so, basically, it's really easy to build anyone, to be honest. Gotta focus on weapons, artifacts, and talents. We're gonna start off with weapons. So, what I'm using currently is the Stringless. And what's so great about Stringless is that it has an Elemental Mastery subset. And uh, if you increase your Elemental Mastery, uh, you can deal more um, Elemental Reaction damage. Which is really great for Ganyu with the Stringless. So that's really good. You can put that on her. It also has increases your Elemental skill and Elemental Burst. Uh, for me 36% on refinement rank 3. If I had like the prototype crescent, I would definitely go for that because uh, the prototype crescent, uh, it increases your attack percent, I think, if I remember correctly. That will deal more basic uh, attack damage, but the stringless is also good. It also deals a good amount of damage as well. If you already have the materials for a prototype crescent, craft it right away and um, make like try to get it to refinement rank 5 uh, that's how you're gonna uh, maximize your uh, damage with that bow the favonius war bow this bow is a decent alternative if you do not have any of the other bows like prototype crescent stringless or whatever the black cliff war bow also works for ganyu so that's also good as well i don't recommend using rust because it decreases your charge attack damage which charge attack damage is what you're mostly gonna do with ganyu so i don't really recommend using rust the Windbloom Ode, I don't know man, like the best you could put on Ganyu is the Amos Bow because that bow is basically made for Ganyu and it's really really amazing bow but uh, for us free to play players there's a low chance that players have that bow but if you already have that bow equip it on Ganyu right away because it's gonna make your Ganyu ripped man, it's gonna make Ganyu damage sick. That's, that's it for the weapons. And let's go to the artifacts. Basically, one of the best set you could put on Ganyu is the Wanderer's Troop. Why? Because the second set increases your elemental mastery by 80 already. And that's gonna make you deal more elemental reaction damage, which is really amazing. And uh, not only that, the four piece set increases your attack damage by 35% if the character uses a catalyst or a bow, which in this case, Ganyu is a bow user. so. She will definitely benefit from this four four piece set. If you do not have, like, if you do not have any decent wonders troop set, there's other alternatives you can put on her. For example, um, if you don't have a wonders troop four set, you could equip a two set wonders troop and a two set blizzards rare because uh, the two set gives you cryo damage bonus, which is amazing. But um, this is just an alternative to be honest i still think the best set you could put on her is the wanderers troop but if you still do not have any wanderers troop like any decent wanderers troop at all uh you could go for noblesse oblige and uh, noblesse oblige and blizzard strayer because noblesse oblige increases your elemental burst damage by 20 percent so that's gonna deal a that's gonna increase your q skill AoE damage a little bit, so that's gonna be amazing for a support Ganyu. But if you're just really aiming, if you're just gonna main DPS Ganyu, uh, just try to farm world bosses and try to get as much Wanderers Troop as much as you can because uh, that's gonna be like the best set you could put on Ganyu. So, yeah. So, what are the stats? Stats basically, Sands, I put attack percent on my sands <laughs> this is god artifact man crit rate crit damage yeah elemental mastery and attack this is a really good artifact i got lucky on this one but anyway yeah you gotta focus on these sub stats and uh, yeah as you can see i'm just prioritizing the ones with the crit rate and crit damage and the energy recharge is also amazing as well for the feather 
and for the goblet of course cryo damage bonus is the way to go crit damage is good i prefer if there was a crit right there that would be a god artifact and uh yeah as you can see i didn't really plus 20 this one level 20 because i'm trying to like get the one two ratio of the crit rate and the crit damage so be sure to like try to perfect this thing a little bit because this will be the main contributor of your damage the main multiplier so if it's 40 percent try to aim for 160 percent and as you can see she is c0 <laughs> and still deals a lot of damage and uh yes finally for the talents of course if you're gonna main dps gun you prioritize the attack talent first uh this is gonna be the main contributor to your damage and uh on the long run you can just uh you can just upgrade these i need more butt plugs i don't have I, I child won't give me any butt plugs what the heck if you're gonna go for support then upgrade these two first and actually don't upgrade this if you're just gonna use her for her her skills so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and uh if you enjoyed my content i hope i helped a little bit about ganyu and um please like and subscribe for uh, more content like this and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye